Hey kids, it's good to see you again. You know what, I've figured out since we've been apart and not been able to be together and not been able to reach out and touch each other for so long, I've figured out that hugs are even better than I thought they were. It's one reason that I think y'all are really part of my family and I hope in some way I'm part of your family as well. Jesus talks about you and me being family with each other, but also he talks about the fact that we are family with him. In Matthew chapter 12, Jesus is teaching some people in a house, and someone comes up and says, your mother and brothers and sisters are outside. And Jesus looks around at the people that are there in the room with him and says, you know, it's the people who love God and obey God. They're truly my brothers and sisters and, and even my mother. It's a little weird, but that's what he said. So we're all part of that family. The whole Bible, from the very beginning until the last words that tells us about what is going to come, pushes the idea and promotes the idea of God's people being like a family. A little later in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 25, right at the end of the chapter, Jesus is telling a parable about how people who have loved and obeyed God and served others are... Uh, are being rewarded by Jesus. And they say, wait a minute, when have we ever served and loved and helped you, Jesus? And Jesus says, you know what? Anytime you do it to, and he uses this word, my brothers and sisters, he even uses an emphatic language, the least of my brothers and sisters, you're doing it to me. When we obey God and love God by loving and helping and being kind to the people that are part of our church family or anyone who loves God. It's a very special way in which God says, you're loving me. Jesus says, you're loving me by loving my, and then he uses that word, my brothers and sisters. So how can you help our family? Lots of ways. Taylor last week in her Bible adventure was encouraging us to write cards to some of the parts of our family who can't get out of their nursing homes or their assisted living. Or maybe they're just staying at home to be safe. They're not getting out and they would really appreciate a card from you. Yes, I know, you have to write it, you have to stamp it, you have to put the right address on it and put it in the mailbox, but it, that extra effort is not just taking care of them. Again, remember what Jesus said, it's taking care of Jesus. Well, maybe as opposed to a phone card or in addition to a, a card, you might make a phone call. You might pick up your phone, might ask your parents if you can borrow their phone and call, let's think about this, maybe call one of your Bible class teachers or call all of your Bible class teachers and tell them how much you've missed being with them this spring. I know that they would love that. Or maybe there are some ways that you could safely help some people. Maybe go to their home and clean up outside the house or something akin to that. Maybe they could use their windows washed. Who knows what little things you could do, still be safe, still be distant, and love on God's family and therefore loving God. You know, it's really special the way that we're part of a, a real physical family, but we're also part of a church family. And when those two things come together, where our physical family is part of our church family, then it's just extra special. I want to ask you to do something special for me for your physical family. I want you to reach out and give your mom and dad a big, huge hug and tell them how much you appreciate the extra effort that they're going through while these really, really unusual times are going on, whether it's their effort to protect you and keep you safe and not exposed to the virus, or maybe their extra efforts to make sure that school and your learning process goes well, or the very special way in which they've stepped in to be the people who have been your Bible class teachers during this time. You know what? Maybe not one of these big, huge bear hugs, but maybe just one of those little side hugs. Reach out and give your brother or sister a hug and say, I'm glad we're in this family together. I'm glad you're my brother. I'm glad you're my sister. Yeah, I know it's tough, but you can do it. I'm sure you can. One way that being part of a church family is a little taste, a little gl glimpse of heaven is the reason that when we get to heaven, it's going to be one big, huge family 
and there's going to be hugs all around. I can't wait to run up and give Abraham a hug and tell him thank you for being faithful. I want to run up and give Ruth a hug and say thank you for being faithful. But maybe most of all, I, I want to run up and I want to give Jesus a hug and say thank you. I want to run up and give God a hug and say thank you. I'm looking forward to that day. I'm looking forward to being there with you as one big happy family. Let's, here we go, one more time. Big, reach out your arms real big and reach around. Oh, there it is. Not as good as when we'll be back together. And we will be back together. And I can't wait to be back together.